This is Mr. Giles with Shrek to give us a short message on layers. No layers. Onions have layers. Ogres have layers. Onions have layers. You get it. We both have layers. <sighs> oh, you both have layers. Okay, so I'm gonna leave Donkey on that. So we're gonna work with layers in Paint.net so we can create something like this, where we can actually put text behind a picture. To do that, first, you're gonna create a new Paint.net. I'm just gonna say okay to the size that it gives me. Number two, I'm gonna go back to the internet and I'm going to just look for a picture of Shrek. Now when I, when I type in Shrek, I'm gonna look for something that has a plain white background and I'm gonna look for the size. If you look in the bottom left-hand corner, at least right now in Google in 2020, there's a number, 220 by 326 means it's 220 pixels across by 326 pixels down. That's a little bit too small. So I'm gonna look for a larger picture of Shrek. And this one is 500, this is 948 by 1600. I like that. So I'm gonna click on the picture. Oops. I'm gonna click on the picture so it opens up large over here. Then I'm gonna copy it. You need to have it opened up. If you copy the little square options on Google, it'll be a small picture. So it won't look as good. So I'm gonna right click, copy image. Okay, so I right click with my mouse, select copy image. Now I'm gonna minimize or hit alt tab to jump to paint. Hopefully, maybe, that's not working. There we go. There's paint.net. I'm gonna hit control V, paste, control V. And when it says, and you gotta click on the screen sometimes to make sure you can paste. And I'm gonna say expand canvas. And there we go. There's Shrek and it's got the marching ants. So I hit control D, deselect to get rid of the ants. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make sure I have my layers on. If you don't have your layers on, they're up here in the corner, your tools, your layers, your history, and your colors. Basically today, you're just gonna need maybe your colors, your tools, and your layers. And to make the layer window bigger, you can grab a corner and you should make it bigger. I think it starts like this and you really should make it a little bit wider and longer because you wanna add some layers. So I'm gonna name this layer by double clicking on it. It pops open a window and I'm gonna write Shrek. Okay, I'm just gonna name my layer. Okay, so now we're gonna add, in fact, I think it might be easier to add a plain white background behind Shrek. Now, if it started with a plain white background, like some of you have this background already there, right? Like this. So to get rid of that, because we wanna take it off of the layer first, we want just Shrek to be on the layer. So I'm gonna use the magic wand tool, click in the white until, and by the way, if it's like this, if it's selecting everything part of his body and you hit delete, it's gonna delete those parts of his body. So I'm gonna hit control Z. I'm gonna change the tolerance until, and I'm gonna reselect again. I'm gonna keep changing that tolerance down until it only selects his body and it's basically only selecting the white area around him. Hit delete, get rid of it. Now I'm gonna add a new layer, clicking the new layer button, or I think it's uh, control N. Let me look under layers, add new layer, control shift N. So if you like shortcuts, you can do that. And I'm gonna fill this layer. I'm gonna call this uh, background and I'm gonna fill it with white. Now watch what's about to happen. He's gonna disappear. Now Shrek didn't disappear because if you look at the layers, he's right here on the bottom. And in fact, if I, un if I turn off the layer called background, you'll see him. The reason he disappeared in under white is because look, the background layer is on top of Shrek. It's the top highest layer. So if I drag it down, now it's under Shrek. So now I have two distinct layers, one that's a piece of paper and one that's Shrek. And I can move Shrek around with the arrow, oops. Now I move the background because I have the background layer selected. If I click on the Shrek layer and try to move Shrek, I can move him wherever I want. I could rotate him. I could have him sort of tilt into the screen like this. It's kind of fun. In fact, I might do that. I'm gonna do that. Okay, hit enter. Now I'm gonna add one more layer, picking the plus or control shift N or the plus symbol here to add a new layer. Okay, and I'm gonna name that layer text. Now right now that layer is on top. I'm gonna leave it on top. I'm gonna choose the font impact. And uh, for now, I have size 84. Your size will vary. I want the text to be nice and thick, easy to read. So I'm gonna put Shrek is my bro. Now I can't see it. There's two reasons why you can't see it right now. One, it's white text on a white background. So I've gotta switch my colors to black. There you go, now I can see. 
Second, I might go all caps by turning the caps lock on. And then um, I'm gonna write it a couple times. Okay, so I've got it so that it's in front of him and behind him. Now, I'm gonna just drag that layer underneath Shrek, boom. There it is. If I wanna get fancy and copy and paste this, I can use the selection tool, the square. I can highlight my text and make sure you're on the right layer. Highlight the text. Control C, hit Control V. Now when I drag it, I'm dragging the copy. And I can go Control C, Control V again. And I have a bunch of text behind Shrek, but totally, I can turn it off if I don't like it. I can turn it back on. I can turn off the background. I can change the background color. It's like, oh, I don't like the background color. So I click on the background layer. Maybe I use the gradient tool, pick two colors and do a cool gradient. Oh, see how it's only happening in the box right now? I'm gonna hit Control Z, Control D, D select. Now I'm gonna do my Shrek is my bro with a colored background. So you decide what you wanna do with it, but um, you click on a layer so you can move or change that layer. And that is the advantage of working with layers because you can um, move things, you can change things. Uh, if you make a mistake, you only have to fix one part of it instead of having to fix the whole picture. So if you're drawing something, and you have like complicated things to draw, like clothing items on a, on a character, uh, working with layers can save you a lot of time. I hope this helps. I hope it makes sense. This video is longer than I want it to be, but layers are tricky when you first find them. So see what you do with layers and see what you do with text in making an interesting image. Mr. Giles, have a great day.